Let's learn in this video how to use the Azure DevOps CLI tool. Within Azure DevOps, we can manage the application source code within Git repositories. We can create pipelines, variables, and variable groups, upload artifacts, and many more. We typically do these operations using the Azure DevOps uh, portal, but today we can also do these operations using the Azure DevOps CLI tool. And this today we'll learn how to use the Azure DevOps CLI and I'll show you some of the useful commands that you can use. What I want to show in this demo is documented in this GitHub repository where you will get in the readme file all the commands that I'll be using today. So first thing to do here, I'll start by installing the Azure DevOps extension into my machine. So for that, I'll use this command here, az extension add the name Azure DevOps. Make sure here you should actually have already the Azure command line installed in your machine, then you add Azure DevOps CLI as an extension to az. So let's see how that works. I run the command az extension add and because I have already installed it in my machine so it tells me it's installed otherwise it will go to install it through the internet. And then next thing to do here is the az login. So you'll need here to log into your uh, not your Azure subscription actually, but log in into your Azure DevOps account. Here I'm already logged in into my Azure uh, DevOps subscription using my email and password. But note that you can also log in through a personal access token, through a path token that you can create from the Azure DevOps portal. That's useful if you want to run the AZ pipelines, uh, the Azure pipelines. CLI from your uh, uh, from your uh, pipe from your pipelines or from your DevOps uh, pipelines. Then after that, once we are logged in, we can now go to configure some default variables. Let's see how that works. So here, actually, I want to access my organization, my personal Azure DevOps account right here, here through this uh, URL. And then I want to set up a project, a default project that is the web app with database demo that I'm going to use in this demo. So once I set up those uh, defaults, these will be used in each Azure DevOps uh, command. So let's see next here, if I want to list, for example, the uh, organization or list the pipelines within my current organization and my uh, one of my projects. So I can use the command now, az pipelines list, and then I want to output that into a table. So I use dash o table, and then I can uh, specify again the organization and the uh, project parameters. And here it shows me two pipelines in my project. And if I want to check that out to make sure that I do really have these two pipelines, I'll go to my Azure DevOps organization web app with database demo, the project. And then here I can see that I have these two pipelines, CI pipeline, multi jobs, and the YAML one. Great. So this is the output in a table format. Of course, you can also do the same, but without specifying dash o table, and that will output a JSON file with a lot more information about these two uh, projects. And as you see here, for each pipeline, I can see who created that pipeline, who have edited, and so on. So I get richer information from there. And note also we can just use the command az pipelines list instead of specifying again the name of the organization and the project because I already set that as a default in my first uh, uh, in one of my first commands. So az pipelines list will show again that same uh, information as before. Let's output the, those uh, pipelines into a table. So I'll use here the command az pipelines list dash o table. So I get my two pipelines. Let's now check, try to check the uh, variables from one of these pipelines. So I want to extract the variables from my CI multi jobs uh, pipeline, for example. And great, here I get three variables, build configuration, build platform, and system.debug. If I come back to my Azure DevOps organization to check this information, so if I go to my, this pipeline right here, multi jobs, and then go to edit, then go to variables, I would see here a list of variables, but if I go to scroll to the right, we can see here setable at queue time, I get only three variables. Those are the three variables showed in the command line, which are build configuration, build platform, and system.debug. Great, let's now try something else. Let's show, for example, the variable groups. So I use az pipelines variable group list 
to show the variable groups used within my project. And yeah, here it is. I get these variable groups. Actually, I get two variable groups. Let's uh, try to get a better output if we try to output this as a table. Yeah, so here I can see my two variable groups, my variable group and variable group from KeyVault. If I switch back to my Azure DevOps organization to check this, uh, this information from here, actually I can either go to variable groups from here or I can go to environments and then I would see my two variable groups, actually library, sorry. If I go to library, I would see these two variable groups. And if I want to access the first, this first one, for example, then I will see here the variables for that variable group. Let's try now to get these variables using Azure DevOps CLI. So to do that, I'll use this following command, IZ pipelines, variable group, variable list, and then I'll use the group ID, which is six, because that's, that was the ID of my first variable group. Great, and here I get these two variables from my variable group. So within pipelines in Azure DevOps, they can select one pipeline and they can see all the history of running this pipeline from this page right here. I can get this same information from the Azure DevOps pipelines or from the CLI tool by using the command az pipelines runs list. I want to list all the runnings from my pipeline. And I get that rich information in a JSON file. So this is actually a huge file containing when that pipeline triggered, who triggered the pipeline, which repository, and so on. I can get a resume of that information if I output the same content into a table. And yeah, here it is. Now a better um, outputting if I try to minimize this like this. So here I get all these pipelines that run successfully for uh, all my pipelines actually inside the, uh, the project. Great. So that was Azure DevOps CLI tool. If you want to, so there is lots of other commands that I didn't cover it in this demo, but I can give you the link if you want to check for more information about Azure DevOps pipelines. So if you go to this link, I'll paste it on the, on the video uh, resources. So you see here other commands useful like for managing the agents, for managing also uh, the tags for your applications, uh, creating folders, managing the pools, the queues, the releases, and many more. And also the artifacts, of course. I hope you liked this video. Thank you.